Hey. Sure. Get out of here. Hey guys, so I just want to let you know a few new ways that you can get a hold of me outside of YouTube. The first is through Facebook, where I update on upcoming trips. The second is through Instagram, and that's where I post exclusive photos from the trip. And the third is a way for you guys to donate to the channel if you want, and it's through a Patreon page. Alright guys, sorry to waste your time, hope you liked the video. Hello guys, uh, I am now in Mexico, finally. Uh, so as you saw, it was a series of trips, a series of flights to get here. Took all day, I've been awake for 19, 20 hours as of now. Uh, so I got in here uh, trying to find my way out, but despite being alone all day long, I did find these lovely people. Who you would also know? <laughs> oh, Chris is new. Uh, no, they, by the oh, time boat. this goes out, Chris oh, will be on the boat. The boat, yes. So you will know all these lovely people. All right, good morning, guys from Mexico. So we didn't do much last night. Obviously, we spent the whole day traveling. Uh, and then we went out for some tacos and churros, and then we just crashed. So today we are going to be spending the whole day exploring Mexico City. So we're, we haven't had any breakfast yet, so we're gonna go grab some coffee and some breakfast right away, and then we will hit up some of the sites is the plan. So we've got Catherine and Adam again, and then Chris is going to be our tour guide today.
finally at the point where we feel our first sun and it feels awesome. Yeah, so a lot of things are cheaper here, but we have learned two things are more expensive and that are vehicles and electronics. So they cost almost one and a half times the amount that it does at our place. So anybody that has a vehicle spent a lot more than what we did. So one thing you have to know if you're coming here is bathrooms are not free to the public. So usually they're about five pesos, so it's, it's hardly anything that's about 25 cents. Uh, they give you a couple sheets of toilet paper because there's no toilet paper usually within the actual bathroom. So uh, be prepared to have some change with you if you need to use the washroom. Balcony there. Yeah. The president on like the Independence Day comes in and gives a gives like a speech at that balcony. An event show uh, people going door to door looking for somewhere to stay. Kind of the idea like to Mary did. And in these events, one of the last things they do is have pinatas. Which is, uh, and they're always shaped like this. Canadians? Not, yes. Canadians from <laughs> Ottawa, Toronto? Even further east, Telefax. We're way up there, huh? Yeah. Oh. This is the, the ruins of the of the Aztec temples that used to be in the center. This was the center of Tenochtitlan, which is the, the city built on the lake of uh, Mexico City before the Spanish arrived. And the Spanish took uh, to try and convert the Aztecs to Catholicism. They took the rocks from the from the temples and actually built the cathedral behind us there. This is a map showing the lake, uh, Lake Texcoco, which is the, the lake that Mexico City is actually built on top of. Uh, but it's got the modern names of the parts of Mexico City. For instance, Tenochtitlan, you can see in the, in the middle there is roughly where we are. We're actually a little bit, uh, a little bit east of that, I believe. You can see Chapultepec over there, which is where you guys are staying down in the south Cuyotan, which uh, you two visited last time. And this is all like the surrounding area. So the lake is under us to a large degree. The Aztecs actually built it up with things called the uh, Chinampas, which is like reeds and stuff tied together. And that's actually why Mexico City is really susceptible to earth because they're built on top of the lake. So it doesn't have any stable base. So these are the volcanoes we're going to? These would be the two volcanoes, yeah, Popo and Ishta. And um, we're going to be kind of driving all around. Nevada de Toluca would be kind of over here, I think. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of do like this and through this, um, in between the two volcanoes, is called Paso de Cortez, because that was where Hernan Cortez, the Spanish explorer who discovered Mexico City, uh, he entered through that pass mm -hmm. and first saw like the Aztec city of uh,
still going? to try some authentic Mexican tacos. So we are, I don't know where we're at. We're at a restaurant. Salon Corona. Say it again. Salon Corona. We are there and we're gonna have some tacos just to show you guys what authentic Mexican tacos are and how different it is from what we make in Canada or the US and stuff like that. Yeah, so we're gonna try that now. Okay, show of hands, who has seen a statue of a gorilla or orangutan, maybe, playing the banjo?